Hello people, it's Aspa here and today we are going to continue our Healing UI Setup Tutorial series with Weak RS2. Weak RS2 is an add-on that allows you to track uh, different kind of things. Basically everything that is in-game. It has endless options for a different kind of custom uh, based strings and so on. But we are only going through the general setup here. So. As we start, like last time, you open up your chat and you type slash wa, which stands for slash w weak or as. Uh, I'm gonna hide my chat here so we can get going. This is what happens when I open it. It looks like a lot of stuff on my screen, but it's not that much when we actually get to it. Um, let's get my Holy Priest stuff here and everything else that happens in my Holy Priest UI as a starter. It looks like a lot of stuff and um, we're gonna start going over it here. First of all I got if I get innovated I got innovate progress bar how much left on it it's very big because I don't look at the time here I just look at the progress bar and know how much is left there. Oh uh, sh shit never mind everything's fixed. Um, then I got my holy priest weak aura combination here with all the spells, serenity, sanctify and all that stuff, chastise, holy fire, uh, another prayer of mending, weak aura, I got the nightbane debuff thing, I got my prox here as a holy priest, invoke the naru, play, blessing of Ture, uh, power of the naru, divinity and the north thumb ring use. But now let I'm gonna show you what happens when we enter combat. So <coughs> now that we enter combat this is what I normally see. I got prayer of mending here, and I got another prayer of mending here when it's off cooldown. Because I want to be casting it all the time with benediction, so therefore I have two different sound notes for it and two different weak R's for it, so I cast it as often as possible whenever it comes off cooldown. So when I cast prayer of mending here, the text disappears and you can see the cooldown over here. And after the 10 seconds, which we are going to wait, we are gonna hear two sounds. Sonar ping and the uh, the gasp and I get the text up here. Therefore I'm gonna start casting Prayer of Mending immediately. Uh, what else we have here and what's uh, noticeable is the Chastise and uh, Holy Fire. And now we got the Invoke the Naru perk from Chastise so you can see the Invoke the Naru progress bar over here. Next thing we're gonna go over is Blessing of Ture proc. I'm just gonna spam some flash heal, try to get some nice crits maybe. Uh, <coughs> maybe if the RNG Jesus is on our side, we're gonna take some more crit here. Oh, come on. Oh, we got Blessing of Ture. You see the blue bar over here is for Blessing of, blessing of Ture. It's not really necessary to track it, but I just like it. I like to know when it's up. And we're gonna cast Serenity on myself. We're gonna see Divinity over here. And the thing we're also going to do is I'm going to show you the Divinity POTN with Holy Word Sanctify. I'm using a macro for Sanctify so when I cast it you don't really see the area but I'm going to use this one here so you can see it. So when I get when I cast Sanctify I get Divinity, Power of the Naru and Invoke the Naru apparently so my Prayer of Healings are really strong for the time. I only like to cast Prayer of Healing during Divinity. Uh, only so therefore I like to see when it's happening when it's going on really easy to track that way and of course then we got the feathers over here <coughs> uh, you we also have divinity over here well this is what my sanctify looks like it just disappears in the area but we also have divinity here I got the mana bar here if I use apotheosis I got a progress bar here I got an innovate progress bar here symbol of whole progress bar here this is very nice and really useful uh, weak or uh, string. It wasn't made by me, it was made by Ablution, a really good holy priest and a friend of mine. I'm gonna have the links if you want to use the same one that I do in the description. And um, last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to do a basic weak aura so you will get the idea of what we're dealing with here. So again, you type slash wa to open up the options. Then we go to the new window here, we're gonna press icon and what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this prayer of mending 
mending tutorial. So first of all, what we start with is we're gonna get the trigger. We're gonna take status. We're gonna go cooldown progress spell. Here in the spell, we're gonna write prayer of mending without any typos. Okay, it's gonna find it. We're gonna get the prayer of mending icon and show when it's not on cooldown. So then we're gonna go to load. I want it only in combat. Player class, we're gonna go to priest. Talent specialization, we're gonna go holy. And actions. When it comes of cooldown, we want it to play a sound. Sound channel always master. And then we're gonna go air horn so it's easy to hear. Animation, you know, when it comes, uh, let's go preset, we can get um, slide from left. When it's there, we're gonna go preset and we want it to bounce a little bit maybe. And when it goes off, we want it to slide to right maybe. So this is what we're gonna see here when we enter combat. You see the prayer mending comes here. We're gonna cast it. Now we're gonna wait 10 seconds. Do some damage while waiting it because we're on heroic Helia and there's nothing else to do. Just push damage and boom. We got prayer mending. We're gonna cast it again and it goes off. Very easy to do very useful you can do that for every single spell and there you have it or you can download a preset like I did and use someone else's work there are a lot of really good visa v core sets for multiple classes and specs basically for everything I will also uh, put a um, website down below to the description called wego.io which has loads of different kind of weak cars for different kind of things. You can basically track every single uh, boss ability or incoming uh, stuff in any dungeon, raid, world bosses, everything you can have in there. Or like for mythic pluses you can have a weak car that tells you if you're standing on sanguine or your target is standing on sanguine and all this kind of stuff. Super useful add-on. Takes some time to master but it's really easy to get going with and it's really useful. Again, thank you for watching and next up is going to be either party frames or um, player frames or uh, action bars. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.